Okay, sorry guys, I didn't realise this was going to be a two-part. I didn't realise I've got so much stuff. Got more stuff coming as well. Um, but yeah, right, so that was Creepy Images. Cool magazine, check them out. So if you just Google it, you'll find it. Okay, and then I got two issues of uh, Sin Fantastique, um, which I don't know if it's American. Um, is it American? Yeah, it's an American. Oh no, it's got a Canadian, UK thing printed on it, so it's sold in the UK as well. Um, but mainly American um, magazine from late 80s, early 90s. I'm not too sure. I don't know much about it. I just bought these because they were like a quid on eBay. And they had big, big um, sections about some movies I'm interested in. Um, so quite big comics too. It's a cinema, uh, Cine Fantastic. This is from uh, 1990 in January. Perfect condition. Just a little bit um, sun damaged, which you'd expect. And has a massive... Um, section about Tales from the Crypt. I say massive, 15 pages, all in colour, uh, all about the effects and stuff, and then there's um, things in here about like the um, the anthology Dead of the Night, uh, James Cameron's Abyss, Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw 3. Um, it's not just horror though, I mean there's things like Whitley Stryber's Communion, After Midnight, and um, Back to the Future 2, Beauty and the Beast, all that kind of stuff. So I think it's all just... Um, cult cinema and things like fantasy and sci-fi as well um, but yeah I got that one because it's Tales of the Crypt from the Crypt even um, and then I picked this one which was a special double issue um, which is actually really thick for a magazine I mean, look. Um, and this was a couple of quid um, and this is, has a massive retrospective on Vincent Price who of course my favourite horror actor um, and quite ironically has a They Live poster on the back <laughs> And this has 46 page, um, I don't know what you'd call it, um, section on Vincent Price. And it's absolutely awesome. I mean, so you've got artwork for a magazine like that, if you can see, is um, amazing. And there's a poster, well, I'd say poster. Um, let me just find it, sorry. <laughs> All about his movies, and of course, you've got that there. So yeah, um, really looking forward to reading through this. I get it. And I mean, it's in absolutely immaculate con um, condition. I mean, it even has look. It even has a thing about Alvira. How cool is that? Got the grill on the car. And um, so yeah, really happy I picked them up, and I'll be looking for a few more of them because um, they seem to have like a middle section on a certain movie. And if I can find them just about movies I'm really interested in, then that'd be awesome. Um, and then finally for books, I picked up this it's kind of a coffee table book, um, which is The Day of the Dead, El Dia de la Muerto, um, which is just lots of artists got together and, and given pictures related to Day of the Dead, which of course is the day after Halloween, I think, um, in Spain. But there's just some awesome artwork in here. I mean, that's quite primitive, but then you've got stuff like... Uh, it's hard to show you. Uh, like something awesome. Stuff like this. Excuse my phone there. Um, and really awesome stuff. I'm really into my Day of the Dead um, stuff and love the artwork and just I can sit and look at these pictures. Every, nearly every single one I want tattooed on me. So. <laughs> um, I would definitely recommend if you like your Halloween stuff and you like artwork to do with it, check this out. Awesome book. Okay, and finally, I think that's everything apart from this. I picked up B Movie Collection, DVD Collection, Limited Edition. Um, I thought I showed you it there, but I didn't. Which um, is going on Amazon for £11. So go and get it. Even if you only want a few of the movies in there, like me, it's cheap. So you get 12 separate boxes, um, which make the face of the woman screaming. And that's, I thought that was pretty cool. Some movies in here that I'll watch, even though I didn't really want to see them. Um, and the movies you get in this, I mean, considering it's £10, £11 even, um, and it comes in a nice box, I think you get it in Digipack as well, but I won't even like this. You get Return of the Living Dead, uh, Return of the Living Dead, sorry, no, Night of the Living Dead, I wish you got Return of the Living Dead, but you don't, uh, Night of the Living Dead, colourised, don't know if you really need it colourised, but yeah, uh, Return to Horror High, 
which I think has George Clooney in it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, crocodile, creature, octopus, rats, which has Ron Perman in it, slugs, the stuff, which I know is quite a popular 80s horror movie, spiders, hell comes to Frogtown, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, and Return of the Killer Tomatoes, which is a sequel to Attack of. Um, I don't know why I've read them out, I'm going to show you them all now. So, Night of the Living Dead, Colorized. Return to Horror High, which looks fun. Crocodile, which I'm not really interested in. Creature, which I'm not really interested in. 30 years after a strange shark hybrid escapes out of the, to the sea from an island naval research station, Simon Chase, a marine biologist. There's not even punctuation on the back of these. And his ex-wife Amanda and their teenage son Max are working in the same facility. <gasps> then they experience shark-like attacks against their boat and on the island, but and on the island. But the only one who will believe their story is an unbalanced drunk called Werewolf. I quite want to see this now. It sounds quite good. Anyway, um, octopus. I'm not interested in that either. But I'm not going to read the back because I'll probably. You're not, because it gets killed. Excuse my girlfriend's phone. Um, and we have Rats. Um, which has... I think this is the one with Ron Perlman in it. Yes. Ron Perlman. Um, and then Slugs. Still not really interested in it. The stuff, which um, I've heard a lot about, and I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Um, spiders, not really bothered about that. Hell comes to Frogtown, which looks quite good. Um, Elvira and Mistress of Dark, which I'm really looking forward to seeing because it's going to be awesome. And. Return of the Killer Tomatoes with another young George Clooney in it. Yeah, so I thought that was quite a cool box set. 12 DVDs, all DVD boxes. Um, and yeah, for £11 I'd go check it out now before they discontinue or it gets sold out. Um, but yeah, um, cheers for watching my two-part update. Um, and yeah, cheers for watching. Comment, subscribe. Thanks for all the new subscribers. And yeah, uh, ho hopefully... I don't know what I'm going to say now. Just watching. Bye.